Boom. All right, so my you and my trailing arms just got here. The problem is I put on um, coilovers on the back. When I squatted it, my wheel hit the front. When you bring the car down, for some reason, the bearing goes forward. So, I'm not gonna make a video of me installing them, but I'm gonna show you what they look like. And I ordered them off eBay. They took like four months to get here, right? So I ordered some red ones. I got so frustrated with the whole situation after two months, I canceled it. Got my money back for the red ones. Ordered some black ones, which I thought were coming from a different company. That took another three months. For whatever reason, they still sent me both. So now I got an extra set. Probably gonna just sell that to my homeboy or whatever. But I'm about to put them on, move this rear end back, squat the car. So I'll show you the end result. Um, take a look at the car right now. Let me see what the, uh, let me measure it. So right now, from the ground, we're at 19 and a half inches where that skirt is. So I wanna bring it down to probably 18 inches, bring it down another inch and a half, I'm not sure. So let me get on it. I'll bang that out real quick. That'll probably take me about an hour, maybe less. And then I'll show you what it's at at the end of the video. Now I'm trying to figure out what color I want, black or red. <laughs> I also got a sway bar I bought used. I paid, I think, 75 bucks for it off eBay from a 96 in power. I went and had it powder coated gold to match the wheels. So I might just go with the black. Um, I should have had it powder coated red or had it powder coated black, but had it done gold. So anyway, we'll see how it turns out in a minute. All right, so this is the new one. See, it has a greasable fitting on the end. And this is your old 1972 technology. Right there. That rubber's from 1972. I guarantee it's never been changed. All right, so we're gonna screw this out an inch. We're gonna get this an inch. We want this, I wanna move the rear end back an inch. That's all I need. Same thing with the other side. They need to be exactly the same. All right. All right, I'll let you see it once I get it in. All right, so the squat's looking good. Let's we'll see how, how low we got it on. I 
so we got it at pretty much 16 and a half um it's like 16 and a quarter but uh anyway we're gonna see the way it rides but i couldn't get my um sway bar in this sway bar is from the 96 impala and it was off just a little bit it's too much in this way so these both ends need to come out a little bit so i'm gonna heat that up i'm gonna work on that another day i'm gonna heat it up bring it out just a little bit and um that should work we'll see how that rides but uh hit that like button up subscribe we just squatted the donk the right way i did it the cheap way before with the 96 impala springs that got me by for a little bit but it didn't squat it as much and it didn't ride as good so we got the QA1 coilovers in there, and we got the UMI um, trailing arms, and we got some more UMI trailing arms for the top. So right now we brought it back, but it kind of pitched the, the yoke down a little bit, which it shouldn't affect the way it rides too much, but when I put the UMI uh, trailing arms on the top, it'll bring that yoke back up. So hit that like button, subscribe. I appreciate it.